What's up guys, this is Kefis. We are back, leveling in WoW. We have been fighting the undead, and now we are in a rat tunnel. And I just gotta spam this stupid torch to keep these rats from killing me. This, I remember the first time doing this, I don't know why, but I had a hard time with it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I could not figure it out at all. This, again, I don't know why, but this reminds me of uh, Bloodborne. It reminds me of the sewers in Bloodborne. A lot. Especially with the rats. Because those freaking, well, the rats in Bloodborne are a lot more scary, but still, it reminds me of it. This place is just Bloodborne, or I should say Bloodborne is this place. I don't know which game came first. I think this came before Bloodborne. But it's not really like anything unique. It's just Victorian, London, lycanthropes, all that good stuff. It's a common theme. But hey, I love it. All right, here we go. This part of the quest, I remember. I remember not liking. I don't know why. I've been, uh, I don't know, Gilneas. Gilneas is a zone that, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I liked it so much. I think I like it mainly for the story. Or at least, like, the... I like that... Like, it's kind of like the Undead starting zone, like I said before. It really affects you. Your, your character is invested in it, um, which is nice. That's, I think that's really what it is. Um, and, of course, I like the theme. I don't like the grayness of it, but I guess that kind of goes along with the uh, theme as well. I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's fine. It's it's still cool. I think there are other zones I probably like more. This was on my top ten list for some reason, but it's still it's still cool. You know, things things change, and we'll see as we level up what I think of zones that we go to, and all that good stuff. We still have time to vote and influence my my journey as uh, we vote in the straw polls. You guys can choose which zone I go to next. And we will probably be going there after this. So this is definitely the time to vote now. As always, there will be a link in the description with the straw poll where you guys can vote for where you want to see me go next. Now, I should be picking mounds instead of killing these guys. But these mounds are really hard for me to see because normally quest-related things... There's one. Wait, what? Yeah, see, it's just... It's, it's still yellow. Quest-related things are still yellow. There is a slight highlight, but it's really hard to see compared to other things. I don't know why. Um, it must have something to do with how the object is uh, going into the ground. I don't know. But anyways, it's all good. We're getting it. We are getting it. It's fine. It's kind of cool how, like, you know how, like, um, how other games kind of, like, quest-related items or, you know, quest areas... Like objective areas and item, like if something, is, if an enemy drops something, a lot of other games like to do this weird like light from heaven, almost like Diablo. Which in Diablo it's cool, it's really cool in Diablo. But in the, in games like MMOs, I, don't, I always hated it. I don't know why. So I'm, I'm glad that WoW kind of does more of a like a sparkly, like a subtle highlight kind of thing, as opposed to like a big shining beaming light down from the heavens. Um, now, granted, I would like to see that when I, a legendary drops, just because I think it's cool. Um, I know I'm, I'm really complicated, but no. Um, other than that, though, it's uh, it's fine. I have not gotten a lot of legendaries in this game. Speaking of which, how have you guys had? How has your luck been? Because mine has not been good. Whoa! Hang on. There we go. Cutscene. We don't care. Skip it. Yeah, I, I think I've gotten well. On one character, I have gotten a legendary. Um, actually, I've gotten. I guess my luck's been pretty good, all things considered, because I've got two legendaries, and some of you probably hate me for saying that, that I've had bad luck. But, I mean, come on. I mean, I had the, uh, the talent for so long that let me use two legendaries, and yet, like, I didn't, I only had one. I actually didn't have any for the longest time, and then I got one, and then a few months later I got a second one. So, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool to get them, you know, like, it's cool when you get a legendary, like, whoa, I got a legendary. But when it's so rare... It's almost like, eh, I, it's a weird balance, you know, it's like in Diablo, it doesn't take long to get, I mean, it can take time in, the, in, in, you know, in the context of Diablo, but in the context of like, in general, it doesn't take long to get a legendary, and it kind of like makes you want to go crazy and go like do rift runs and all that kind of stuff to get tons of legendaries, because eventually you're going to get the legendary you want. In WoW though, it's like a long, well, you know, it's random, which is part of what sucks about it. But it's a long investment. You don't know. It could take a day. It could take a couple months or more. For some people, there are probably people out there, good lord, at this point, who've been playing. Imagine being, I, I don't know, is anybody out there who has been trying regularly who doesn't have a legendary? Because, man, 
if you do, I feel really sorry for you. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, who knows? There probably are people out there that are just like that. This is a fun quest, by the way. Um, we just get to kill dudes. It's all good. Now, what sucks is I, not only can I not see my vehicle action bar to know what buttons I have, I also don't have the yellow text to let me know where objectives are. So I kind of have to keep looking. It's all right, though. This quest is lots of fun. We're just going to kill lots of orcs. See, orcs think they're going to come help, and they're wrong. Because we've got we've got high elf support now. we got it all under control. Um, but anyways, yeah, in Diablo it works out really well uh, for that game because of how legendaries work. In this game, I don't think it's worked out so well. I also apparently can't hit these guys. Um, because it just takes too long. And if you're not, you know, if it's too easy, then everybody will have it and there won't be anything to do. And yet, at the same time, if it's too hard or it takes too long, people are just going to lose interest. Um, which a lot of people, you know, tend to do that. So, um, unless you know you make it really fun or something. I don't know. It's a weird, you know, it's a really hard balance to kind of, I guess, find. And I don't know. It's new for them. They're trying something different. I think, I think for me, I'm sick of RNG. I think that that's a really big part of it. I just, like, that's become their go-to. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's like we're gambling our time, which is annoying when there's no, I mean, there are, I guess you could do, like, mythics or whatever. Or you could do certain things to kind of increase your odds. But, I mean, come on. You know, like, it's still a long shot. Like, it's still, like, you could do tons of mythics. Which, again, when it's really hard or something like that, I don't know people you know and they and they do so much of it people get tired of it because like man all that effort for nothing i don't know i don't know if it's worth it um i don't know it's 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 a hard man it's a hard balance to, to find and maybe maybe it's fine and i'm just getting older and my attention is uh is you know kind of not what it was or something i don't know where i don't have the time to invest like i used to i don't know it's really not it's not even so much time investment it's just like you know what um, like, what are, what are you investing your time in? I don't know. There, there's there's a lot. I, 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 I think a lot of it, for me, what I'd like to see from this game is... Uh, oh, I just, I just gotta kill dudes now. Cool. I kill a lot of dudes. Um, I'd like to see more than just gearing and, 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 and leveling and raids. And I think that's been part of it forever. And, and again, like, yeah, they gave us, like... You know, what is it? The, the Nightfallen in-game in stuff... But I'm saying more than just questing, like more than just like quest lines. Like the the part of the problem with I think with this game that a lot of other games are doing nowadays, and I'm not saying they're great games or they're perfect games because they're not. But like a lot of games, a lot of other MMOs out there, um, you do a lot of different cool things. Like you, you know, like there's a there's like take take a game like. Um, uh, Black Desert, for example, which again is far cry from a perfect game. Trust me, it's far, far cry from a perfect game, but it's a lot of fun. Um, what they do well and what they do right, and what Arcage, again, far, far cry from a perfect game. But what it does do right is it creates this world where you can do all kinds of things. Besides, it, it, it doesn't put all its eggs in one basket. There are tons of things to do. There, besides fighting, besides getting more powerful and gearing up, there's, there's economy, which there's an economy in this game, but it's very simplistic compared by comparison. There's, um, you know, building a house, buying land. Um, you know, there's a reason to fish because it, you know, it, it does a lot of different things. You know, it's a very good investment in terms of mon monetary. It's, it's easier to do. It doesn't take like, it's not tedious. You could do it off. Like you could do it AFK. Um, which I know, like it's AFK, but still, it it kind of uh, it, it kind of builds on this idea that you are in a world and you are a person, a part of this world. And I think that that's something that um, that WoW they they haven't captured that in a long time. I think that that's you know back when this was you know just the it was it, it bleh, I'm trying to get my words out. The thing about WoW when it first came out, what really set it apart was that this is the first game where it's a world because you're in a big world, right? But that's not really new anymore. You know, that's been a thing for so long. And But back then it was enough to make you feel like you were part of that world just to kind of be in it and to be among a lot of other people. I think now, though, after 
10 plus years, the classic, okay, level up, now you get more powerful by gearing up, now you get more powerful by this, and you get more powerful by that. I think it's still fun, and I think it should stay, but I think it needs to be complemented with other things that you can invest in that kind of build your character, you know, make make you feel a part of the world, you know. Um, I think that's part of what it is. And I don't even know why I went off on this tangent, but I was just talking about, like, legendaries. And, you know, just the grind. It's it's the grind. The grind is getting kind of, uh, you know, painful at this point. And I think I think part of what would help is keep the grind. Don't, don't get rid of the grind. Don't get rid of gearing up and all that kind of stuff and dungeons and raids. Don't, for God's sakes. You can, keep, you can even make those still the main focus. But at the same time, we are leaving Gilneas. But at the same time... You know, do things that um, that kind of complement those things. Like in the world, give you know, there's battle pets, for example, which is cool. But you know, do things that make the character feel like part of the world. You know, make professions mean more. Make you know, mounts mean more. You could do things like level up your mounts or something, or just all kinds of stuff to make the game more, you know, immersive. I think that's the kind of the word I'm looking for is immersive. What the heck am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to talk to somebody. Um, oh, I have to... Oh. Oh, I'm not done yet. I gotta blow up a thing. Cool. Is it... Am I hopping on a hippogriff? I forgot about this. We're not done yet. We are not done yet, you guys. We have more to do. Cool. Do I have to... Do I have... Okay, now it let me. I don't know why it wasn't letting me before, but now it did. So, yay. Cool. Awesome. I'm, I'm cool with it. That's right. We got to go up and blow this gunship. This is kind of fun, actually. I'll stop moving the camera around so you guys don't get sick. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think that I think we got a great... I mean, WoW's great. It's the best MMO out there, without a doubt. It's got a beautiful world. It's got a cool story. It's got a fun gameplay. It's got a lot of that stuff. I just think that... Um, I think I'm ready for a little bit more. I think I'm ready for more of an investment in this world and I want to feel like I'm part of this world and that other people are different than me and I'm different from everyone else and I'm unique and I have my own place here. You know, we're always defending this world and and that's great, but it'd be really cool to just kind of get really immersed in this world again. And I, I haven't really felt immersed in this game in a very long time, personally. I mean, I, I love it, again, I'm not dogging it, so calm, calm yourselves, people. I'm not insulting, I'm just giving my opinion. Um, on what, you know, what I'd like to see. I'd like to see ways that they could immerse me in the game. I've had, I've had a few ideas. Um, matter of fact, I did a thing a while back, um, people kind of liked it, where I talked about, like, how I would design pet battles. And it was a series idea where I would talk about just different aspects of the game and what I think I would like to do if I was a developer and what maybe they could do. And, you know, basically it was just, like, challenge them to do better because, you know, why not? Because I'm a jerk and I'm a big experienced game developer and I know what's best you know no but seriously I thought it'd be kind of fun I've had ideas like um for example like things they could do with mounts to make mounts more unique I mean I've got uh, how many mounts do I have now I have got 233 mounts and some of them are really cool looking and some of them are you know they have uh abilities you know and that's the thing is like certain mounts have certain abilities like my water strider for example it it uh strides water <laughs> no it walks on water which is really cool um so i tend to use it a lot and then i've got like my traveler's tundra mammoth which is really cool because it lets me reforge it lets me sell and repair and all that kind of stuff which again is awesome problem is is a i tend to use those mounts a lot and it kind of makes the other mounts seem less important and it, but you know they're, they're really cool um, and B is I have a lot of amounts that really don't serve a purpose other than being unique and being collectibles, which is fine, but I think you could you could expand that. I think that they could easily, you know, with, with well, not easily because there's so many, but they could add in certain things that you could do to make mounts mean more and maybe, um, if, maybe you could level them up, kind of like pet battles in different ways, maybe by use or by doing quests or just whatever good lord um there are different things they could do um uh, to make mounts you know mean more and, and they would gain abilities maybe other mounts can be water striders or maybe they could do other things like uh maybe you could you could give a mount like horses or just any mount double saddle 
so that then they um, they can hold more people, uh, stuff like that. Or maybe they could have shopkeepers on them. They could have banks on them. Um, they could move faster. Some yeah, like uh, one of these ideas I had is. Rather than having like the master writing where you pay a bunch of gold, why not make it so that certain mounts can move faster? Um, and then you have mounts that, that are for fast. Maybe you could have a mounts that can you can do mounted combat, and they could finally add that into the game, kind of like it was in the grand. Because I didn't think that broke the game at all. I thought it was fun. Um, maybe certain mounts are for that. Maybe you could have so then you'd have mounts that you would use for combat. Um, then you, and you'd have other mounts that you would use for um, moving faster. What if you could have amounts that were for gathering? So, like, you could, you know, ride them and you wouldn't get dismounted when you gathered stuff. Just things like that that would you could use different mounts for different purposes, and they would all serve a purpose, and then that way you're not just using one mount or random mounts and you don't really care. Um, it's kind of like druids have a lot of utility. Maybe you could have amounts that could be instantly summoned, like the druid form. Um, and you got to work at building that, though. So it's, like, druids already have it, so it's cool for them. Um, all kinds of stuff like that they could do that just kind of, I think, would make... Do I need to do something in here? I... It's about to blow. Jump on the wide no, it just takes 10,000 years to get through this quest. But yeah, just all kinds of stuff I think they could do to add just a little bit more utility, a little bit more investment. I mean, building up to those things, like, those are all things that I would work to get for... Whoa! Okay, I didn't jump on a wyvern, but it's okay. Um, it's not a cutscene. <laughs> But I think those are all things they could do to really just enhance the mount experience. And that's just with mounts. You know, imagine, like, me going through all these mounts and deciding what abilities I want to have, which ones I want to do what. And then I've got, like, different mounts for different things. I could have mounts that move faster in water, um, you know, besides besides water mounts. Or they could add water mounts, you know, and, and there you go. Um, things like that. Mounts that can jump higher. Mounts that can, you know, do just different things. Like I said, uh... I think that'd be cool, and I would love it if I could see things like that implemented into the game for sure. So, I don't know, just thoughts like that. I had thoughts about other things, too, I can't really think about right now. Just things they could do with professions to make them more fun. Um, you know, giving you a shop, making you ha having you run a shop uh, with your, with your um, you know, professions. Just different things like that I think would be really cool. And creating new ways for us to interact and do things and make us feel more part of the world. We've hit level 16, and now we are leaving the, uh, the Gilnean starting area. So, I don't know. Just some thought ideas. You guys might think it's dumb, but I was just, you know, just brainstorming, just giving my opinion. But there you go, guys. We have finished the Gilnean starting zone, and we are actually already level 16. So, we will be moving on to the next zone, which will be Westfall slash Red Ridge, basically Red Ridge, Dark Shore... Lock Modan or Blood Mist Isle based on the votes that you guys apply in the straw poll. I should say submit in the straw poll. So please do that. There will be a link in the description below to the straw poll where you guys can choose which zone I go to next. Thank you guys for your continued support of watching this series. Don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends so they can watch too. And please, as always, guys, give me feedback. I appreciate your guys' continued support and your continued viewership of this channel. So have a wonderful day. This is Kephas. Until next time.